Alrighty guys, what's going on? My name is Apple, and today we're back at it again with some more Subnautica. That's right guys, uh, sorry just adjusting my volume on my headset. Alrighty, uh, today guys, uh, we're not building the base. Sorry, I did get resources. Uh, we do have a lot of resources put together. I uh, went out and got some, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, so off camera in between this episode and next episode, I'll be getting more um, resources gathered together and collected and we'll go from there. Uh, today, I kind of want to go back to the island because uh, I've fixed up my knife. So we're going to do that right now. Um, yeah, because I, I made the knife again uh, since our last one broke. Uh, so now we can get past those, um, I think they're the cave crabs, I believe. Uh, so we can get past those guys now. And then I want to go explore to the west, like, so northwest of our base. Because uh, while collecting some resources, I saw something pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Alright, so let's just make sure we're going the right way. Kind of. Onward. Uh, so yeah. It's, um... Still creepy. I figured out why this game's so creepy as well. It's not that there's like. Oh! That hurt. <laughs> it's not that it's like bottomless, right? That that that's fine. The fact that it's bottomless. I think there's a ship a bit down there. Let's check that out. Uh, slightly heading the wrong way. So we'll head down here. I think I saw a ship. Yes, right here. Alright, because we're still looking for the moon pool uh, to add to our base. Because um, at the moment, there's no way to actually charge um, our, um, our Seamoth that we're in. Uh, so we'll kind of just go until we run out type of thing. Which is not the best way to run things. Sorry, just having a quick look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, that looks like just some salt. There's nothing in there. And there's nothing there. Alright, let's keep going to south. Uh, that reef back's upside down. Yeah. Buddy. Buddy. Pal. You, um, you ran the wrong way there, buddy. Alright. Uh, oop, 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 lag, 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 frames, come on. That's it. Um, oop, okay, where are we going? Where are we going? This way, this way, go on this way. Alrighty. Uh, cause yeah, over towards the northwest of our base, uh, which is where we'll be going after we hit up the rest of this island. I chose to go at sunset, didn't I? Gosh, I'm an idiot. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll stop the video here, make a little bit of a cut, because um, it is night time, and we'll come back when it's daytime and we can see a little bit better. Alright, sound good, guys? Alright, that sounds good. I'll uh, see you all in the daytime. Alrighty, guys, back with that beautiful sunset. Uh, so, I will show you this. Yeah, this is the, the message that I got. Um, the biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint Altera technology signatures. Um, that was off ooh, That was off to the northwest of our base. Um, and I kind of saw a glimpse of something in the distance. I didn't go check it out because I wanted to wait and leave it as a, as a surprise. Uh, for when we come back. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was off this way. To the, um, yep, because they're the, the, the plant pod things. And then there should be a land bridge. There it is. Right across here. Uh, yeah, so what I really, really, really want 
is to get that um the moon pool up and running. Uh, because once we get the moon pool going, that goes to the top. Yep. Uh, once we get the moon pool up, uh, we can get the upgrade moduley thing. Um, and with that, we can upgrade our sea moth, uh, so it can hold storage, uh, which will make going out and collecting resources for uh, building our base and stuff a lot easier. Uh, and it will also mean that we can upgrade the depth, uh, which means that it can go a lot deeper. At the moment, its kind of max range is 200. Um, what they've kind of done, which I love, is once you get to... 200 uh, meters it's like it pressurizes uh, the cabin like overly pressurized where is this bastard huh? where are you? where are you? where is it? oh it's there Things creepy as. Let's jump up here. Oh! All right, let's do it. Ah, dead. Nice. Oh, that wasn't the log. What's this? Battery. I'll take it. Anything to scan? And the cave crawler. Are you not dead? Can you die, please? Thank you. My god. Uh, can't scan anything else here. Can I get through? Huh. Must be another way. Um, I can't get out there. Alright. Jump back up. Can I oh can I get through the window? Is this <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh, what is this? Purple artifact. Ooh. Uh ooh. <laughs> Never seen that before. Ah yes, so that okay. All right, let's read some stuff. Uh, but we got a blueprint for this purple. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay, let me try and because it keeps glitching. Let me just stand out here. Hopefully, it won't be shaking. Kind of shaking. That's 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 annoying. All right. Um, ba -ba, this log here. Uh, Captain's log. Five weeks since our ship, the Degrassi, was shut down. I gave, give thanks that few saw fit to spare my son. Bart and I from... Oh, Bart, my son, Bart and I from death. There, that was a mouthful. But my personal entourage were not so destined. The only other survivors were something... Um, okay, so that doesn't seem important. Alien data. Alien artifact. Here we go. Algae growth on the exterior of this device indicates it has lain here for hundreds of years, undisturbed despite its age. Its power source appears to be functional. It may be compatible with other nearby technologies. Ah. Right, let's have a look at this cave crawler. And the shuttle bug. Oh, yeah, that thing. Cave crawler. Uh, it's an algae, territor algae territorial carbon feeder. Well adapted to both land and sea. Oh, don't tell me we find these in the ocean as well. That's disturbing. <laughs> that's... That's really disturbing. Okay, technical. Vehicles. Cyclops. Oh yeah, I found a couple Cyclops. Cyclops fragments as well. Um, if I go here, does it show it up the top? It does. Uh, so I found two fragments. Now if we get a third one, we'll get it. That's like the big ship. Like, the, the really big ship for this game. Okay, so that's all we wanted from here, I do believe. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on this island. So, I'll head back to the ship. 
Uh, I'll make a cut here, and I might just meet you guys back at the base, uh, unless I find something interesting. Um, and then we'll head northwest and check that out. Right, see you guys then. Okay, back at the base. And uh, now that we're here, I'm just going to drop off the whoop, uh, exit. Alien artifact. Jump in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. This chest is for organics, so I guess we'll chuck it in here. Oh. Cool. Ah, yes, and we did get a battery, so I'll drop off one of these batteries. Cool. Oh, and I did make something. Uh, I made a planter, and I just planted the plants that we found. Um, because we're in freedom mode, we don't really need to eat or anything, so it's just more of an aesthetic thing. And I mean, it looks pretty. So, yeah. All right. So. Uh, I am on 90 health. So, oh, no, no, that's the wrong thing. Let's take one of these out. Actually, I wonder. Can I eat food to regain health? Because let's grab these Chinese potatoes. It doesn't look like I can eat it. Unfortunately. No, I cannot. Um, and one, two, three, four. There's enough room to plant another one of these. About... What about this? Can I eat that? Oh! Well, I ate it and I accidentally used the med pack as well, so we'll never know. <laughs> I am clever. Ah, that... Stupid glitch. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know, there's a little bit of a glitch in the game. If you open up an inventory sometimes, it doesn't actually show the inventory interface. Uh, it just shows you the way your cursor is, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I still have that power cell. Good. All right. Let's go. So, no west. All right. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm just using the compass at the top of the screen to kind of orientate myself. Um, that's why if you see me kind of doing circles, I'm just kind of getting the compasses, all the compass to direct me. Um, now, I was here, no, I was a little bit further, so I saw this, I didn't really check it out, because I was just looking for base building resources, but it doesn't look like there is, ah, sorry fish, it doesn't look like there's anything noteworthy there. Okay. Um, I didn't see this one. What the hell? Where was this? Okay, there's a sand shark around here. Oh, no, no, no I did see this. I didn't explore it because there was this sand shark douche around. I didn't really have a knife at that time, so let's go in here. Uh, da -da. Anything to scan? Oh, we can open this. Sweet! Ugh. Cool. Alright, let's get this on the bar because I kind of want to move around a little bit faster than how I am at the moment. Cut to access. Open that. Oh, get it open. Come on. Okay, this just goes straight through. So there is nothing in here unless that goes into somewhere, but we need to cut that open. Oh, this, this goes somewhere. Where does this take me? Um, flashlight? Through? Nowhere. This is just an empty corridor. Okay. 30 seconds of oxygen. Back in our Seamoth. Um, so yeah, that, that was interesting, but kind of boring because it didn't give us anything. I'm kind of assuming that there's something in there, because that's the, the hatch that we couldn't open, that we need to cut open. I'm not going to even bother, bother about that, it's probably just another battery or something. Uh, but what I saw, yeah, I saw this thing, these things, is it cool? I don't know if they're harmful or not, so I kind of don't want to jump out of the sea moth, just in case. There it is. I saw this just perched up here, and I'm like, what? 
looks like it's just another ship fragment. It doesn't look like there's any way in from that side anyway. And none from there. Maybe from the top. Ah, yes. So we can get in there from the top. Alright. There's no dangers around. Let's jump out. Let's come down here. Grab our torch out. Oh, we're getting a communications thing. Get that floodlight recipe. Cool. Can I, like, repair these? Or something? Ah, there's a PDA here. Let's grab that. There's a bench. Alright, and we need to go back up and get oxygen, because we're about halfway. Oh, I need to change my batteries. Alright, let's read this PDA and see what that has to say. Uh, now we did get the blueprints for bench and the floodlight. That is cool. Habitats. Floodlight. Yep. Cool, cool. Uh, can I disappear, please? Thanks. Alright. Um, log? Data bank? Did we not get a, a log? Oh, this must be it. Uh, analysis confirms the wreckage is from the Aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it has been heated to over 1200 Celsius. What? That's, that's stupid hot. This pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during atmospheric entry. Inner layers contain high enough residual titanium to be reclaimed at the fabricator. Ah, okay. Um... You all know how I feel about nighttime in this game, <laughs> so I'm just gonna just 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 just, just pause and pause the game for a little bit. I might just zoom in here to kind of hide myself a little bit from things, and um, we'll explore the rest of this. <laughs> Sorry about all the jump cups in this episode, guys, but um, yeah, spoop, spoopy nighttime's very spoopy. Actually, you know what? Let's just explore it now. We've got a torch. This thing, which is kind of like a torch. Okay, no, we can zoom through there, but there's nothing in there. What I want to check out is can we get our inventory out? Grab this scanner tool, put it on number in our five slot, and can we s repair these? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's. Let's grab four. This out. Just kind of want to. Okay, there's. That's nothing for us. Nothing there. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Maybe there's a super secret one in this one. Propulsion cannon. Eh. Eh. So way in here. We're running low on the oxygen. There's, like, there's some cool stuff Caution. in here. Oh, get more oxygen. oxygen remaining. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I need the. Let me out. I think I need the rebreather. Um, because you probably notice that my oxygen is dwindling. Um, a lot quicker. And I think I lost a... Um, an air container. Because it... Let's just get these. Oh, I've already got one. What's this one? Propulsion cannon. I don't have the propulsion cannon, do I? Yeah, I must. Okay. Let's grab this out. Can we enter this? Nope. That's an empty one. Right. Swim out here. Yeah, that's nothing in there. Grab some air. And then we'll check out the other little bit. Da -da -da. Uh, just making sure there's no other entry points from here. Pretty sure this is the only entry point. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything there. So can we swim? We can't even swim through that. Okay. Um, these look like lockers. Can I scan these with the right tool? No. Alright. 
Um, I think that's all that's here. There's nothing really new, unfortunately. That's a bit of a letdown, not gonna lie. I was hoping for something cool. Well, mm, um, I'm gonna wait till daytime, um, then I'll meet you guys back over at the base. Alrighty guys, uh, back at the base, uh, dropped our, the titanium off from the research that we did. I think I left the lights on in my seamoth, but that's okay. Um, gonna end the episode here guys, it's been kind of running kind of long. Um, did quite a bit of stuff today, more just running around. Uh, next episode though guys, I do promise you we will be building our base. Uh, I have an idea of where I want to build it, and how I want to build it. Um, I will do some research to kind of find find out where to find that moon pool uh, so we can chuck this in and get some upgrades going because I do think we can actually color that thing. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. So until then guys, see you later.